Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken, and today's experiment is the impossible balancer. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is the impossible balancer. If you look in the description, I'll show you where I've got mine. Possible balancer comes in a nice little box. Um, I picked it up in London while I was over there visiting last week and um, I got it for about eight euro. I'm gonna have a link in the description where you can get it. The impossible balancer spins just like a normal top before flipping over upside down on its stock. So when it flips over, it begins to rotate the opposite direction, which I show you on the last um, experiment I do. As you can see here too, it also comes with instructions. You know, spinning the impossible balancer takes some practice. It did take me a little while to get it down pat. So how does it work? Well, the impossible balancer may seem like a simple, ordinary top, but it's carefully designed. The most important feature of the center of the mass does not sit at the geometrical center of the top, right? So as soon as the top begins spinning, therefore it balances not at the center, but the point just off the center. It is at the point of the top that actually contacts the surface on which it spins. As a result, the top does not spin at a single point, but on the sides of the small circle of the surface which it spins. Rotation is now perpendicular to the stem as the stem contacts the surface. It also experiences friction. This applies to more torque. The torque provides the force that lifts the round mass to the top up. Remember, the, the rotation of the stem actually stops while it's hor horizontal. So in this experiment, I've marked the top with an arrow and I'm going to spin it from the left to right. So I'm going to pull, pull it backwards. And so it's going to go counterclockwise. And you can see here in slow motion that the arrow is going counterclockwise while the top is spinning right side up. But as soon as it goes into spinning on the stem right here, I go back into slow motion and you can see now it's spinning in the opposite direction, which is pretty cool. See the arrows facing the other way. So um, because of this design into this top, the impossible balancer, it's able to rotate an opposite direction when it gets up onto its stem. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. And thanks for watching. Okay, that video seems really interesting. Oh, and um, that video too. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking right now, those two videos, click on them at the same time, and those two, and the red subscribe button down below, and, um, yeah, I'm thinking, um, thank you, uh, bye, those two videos, too.